Hi Taurus, this is Petra with IndigoTarot.club and I'm here to do a general psychic tarot reading for you for the month of December 2016. I recommend you watch your sun, moon, and rising and see which resonates with you the most for this month of December 2016. I'm going to shuffle your cards, cut your cards, spread the cards, and get started. The card representing you is the Empress. The energy crossing you right now is the Eight of Cups. Past issues are the basis of the situation is the Four of Cups. The immediate past is the Knight of Cups. Crowning your thoughts right now is the Moon. Immediate future, what's about to happen, is the Queen of Wands. Your fears or emotional concerns regarding this situation is the Six of Wands. Environmental factors are, or how others see you right now is the Seven of Swords. Your hopes and fears is the Star and card position 10, the outcome or answer to your question is the Queen of Swords. So right now I have you as the Empress, a beautiful, abundant person or woman. Perhaps you are pregnant or you are about to become pregnant or you have just become a mother. Perhaps you're having a lot of abundance with your business right now if you're self-employed or if you are an employee. Perhaps everyone sees you right now as very kind and nurturing and almost motherly. The energy crossing you is the Eight of Cups. There's something that you've been putting a lot of energy and time into, and you don't feel like you're getting what you deserve back from it. Perhaps this has to do with a relationship, or maybe this is at work. Maybe this is at your job. Maybe you feel like you're taking care of everyone at work, but not enough people or even no one is taking care of you at work. This could be at the home, but right now I'm feeling like it's at work. You're unhappy. You're unhappy at work. You're happy to take care of others and nurture others, but for some reason you don't feel like you're getting the same energy back. And so you're thinking that maybe you should just not worry about anyone, just start focusing on yourself. Maybe that's what's going on here. Or at least that's what I'm feeling right now as I'm looking at this. Past issues, the basis of the situation to have four of cups. Maybe you're considering looking for another job or you're, you've already applied and you're hoping to get news, great news from that other job opportunity. And maybe you're hoping and wishing that there you'll be appreciated more. If this is in regards to your home life, you're being very nurturing and kind and mothering everyone in your home, but not everyone's giving you that same love and energy back and perhaps you're thinking you should devote your time and energy to something else or devote less energy to the people that you're taking care of in your home. Immediate past, what is behind you is the Knight of Cups. Someone may have uh, proposed to you. Maybe someone invited you to go on a date or maybe someone offered their love to you and maybe at this point in time, you haven't decided yet. Maybe that's what you're thinking about. You're thinking about leaving someone and going to this new person who's just proposed to you or who's just offered uh, their love to you or kindness to you. Crowning thoughts is the moon. This is very emotional, very emotional card. And sometimes it's, uh, you have to keep an eye, a sharp eye on things because there could be some illusionary things going around and you have to make sure that you know exactly what's happening around you before you make any decisions. In your immediate future, what is about to happen is a Queen of Wands. This can be a fire sign female, a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius person who's very kind and warm and nurturing almost like the empress, almost like you. So maybe a woman is going to come into your life and help you to make your choice on what you should do. Maybe that's what's about to happen. This woman is going to come into your life. Card position seven, your fears, your emotional concerns. You have the six of wands. This is a very good card. This is a card of success. People are going to be looking up to you. And they're going to go along with your decision. The decision you make, they're going to go along with it because they trust you and they respect you and they admire you. 
or you're going to receive some type of recognition, a reward. Someone or several someones are going to tell you how they feel about you, and it's going to be very positive. Environmental factors, how others see you. This is Seven of Swords, so someone very close to you may see you as being sneaky, or you may see someone very close to you as being very sneaky, or maybe you don't trust the person. Maybe that's why you don't feel like you're getting energy or enough love and energy back. Maybe because you have some kind of trust issue with this person that's very close to you. Or if you're being sneaky in some way, they are feeling that you're being sneaky. Your hopes and desires, what you really wish for, is the star card. This is a very positive card. This says that even though things may seem rough right now, not to worry because very good things are going to come for you. And that's what you want. You want success and you want happiness. And you want these positive things to come forward and you're being optimistic about it. And it's good to be optimistic about things like this. Outcome card, the answer to your question. The reason that you're watching this video is because you want an answer. And the answer is the Queen of Swords. This may be you. You have to take an analytical look at something and make a decision. Maybe there's going to be another woman coming in to your life who is very analytical and she's going to help you make some sort of decision that you want to make. This could be a mature woman, a divorced woman, a widowed woman. Either way, this person will look at things differently than a fire sign person, which was the woman in your immediate future. This one takes a closer look at things, and she does not mince words. So there may be two women coming in to help you make a decision in December 2016. Now, if that is you, and that's not another woman coming in, if that is you, then you have to take a close watchful eye on something before you make a decision. You need to look at both sides and look at them analytically before you make your decision. But you are being very optimistic about the outcome, and it's better to have a positive outlook than a negative outlook because what you focus on expands, and if you are focusing on being afraid that something terrible is going to happen, you might just manifest that. So it's better to be very positive. And that could be why the moon is here. You're very emotional about the situation, but you need to be more analytical about it. So I hope this reading helped you. I'm going to pull a bottom card for what's about to happen at the beginning of the next month, which would be January 2017. The card I have is the Eight of Swords. This is feeling stuck right at the beginning of January. Feeling stuck, like you can't move a muscle, like you can't do anything, but in fact you can. You're a very powerful person. You need to try to get rid of this feeling that you are lacking things or that you cannot do anything. You have to be more positive and know that you can manifest positive things. So I hope this reading helped you for December 2016. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next month. This is Petra with IndigoTarot.club.